Hey guys, it's Alex from Alex Pierce Productions. Today we're going to talk about Gear 360's Action Director. So, we're going to jump right in. If we open up Gear 360 Action Director, uh, there's a few different options, but the first thing will be to start a 360 project. So we'll go ahead and open this. They give you like a sample project here with some, you know, uh, ballet and, and all that stuff and it gives you some idea. Um, and so there's, there's you know, uh, some basic features that you would imagine from anything, play, stop, you can change this to panorama, full screen, menu, etc. Um, so in the playback, you know, sort of, the playback's fine, play, playback's cool. Uh, let's drag some, some of our footage in. So if we go, let's see, yeah, this is unstitched stuff. So if you drag a photo in, so this, this photo is unstitched. Right? If I drag this in, it basically auto stitches in real time. Um, and the, the biggest complaint I have right now is there's no way to straighten an image for, for photos, uh, which is kind of funny because it can do it for video but not for photos. But, uh, so that's one thing that I, that I find kind of odd. Um, so let's do a video now. If I bring in this video, um, oh, I've already stitched it, so it, it knows where it's at. Let me uh, let me bring in another video here. Let's bring in this one. If I bring this video in, you'll see it's zero percent, two percent, five percent. This is the video. This is the Gear 360 manager um, stitching this video. So there aren't there really is no directions there's no like um, help menu or guide or <laughs> PDF so when when I use I've had this camera for maybe two months now and I've been using it thinking I have to stitch it here then bring it down to this timeline to render it out and that was that's been my biggest complaint and I basically stopped using this this program altogether and it would only stitch on my phone because I thought this is the way I had to do it. And the problem is um, if I say this is a 11 second video, if I push produce, you can go here and you can, you know, select, you know, different quality and all that sort of stuff. But if I push start, it's going to use 100% of my computer's processor and it, it's slow as molasses. It doesn't it doesn't encode very well at all. If I wanted to get like a 10 minute clip, it would probably take three hours, which is just stupid. <laughs> so and it's not even like um, a super lossless uh, Kodak or, or advanced Kodak or anything. It just, for whatever reason, uh, it, it just is just crazy. So uh, you can use this timeline, you know, and you can make a cut here if you say you don't have Premiere Pro or Final Cut or something like that you could use this timeline and you could you know you can do some things like you can cut and do transitions and that sort of stuff but I would highly recommend you don't do it in this program because it's not very efficient uh, it's got a very iMovie kind of feel like I can add some music and I can do you know auto transitions and stuff like that but but the editing capabilities are pretty edited or pretty limited anyway and then, as I said, the, the rendering is just really awful, like really, really, really bad. So I don't suggest doing this. What I accidentally found out was that when it stitches, it actually stitches to a certain location. But I didn't realize that because it's not the same location that you save your project file. And I figured if it would save to there. Basically, where it saves to is... Um, users, your username, documents, cyberlink, action director, 1.0, and then 360. And so when you drag, whatever, you could drag in 50 videos here, and it'll automatically stitch them and put them in this location. So now if we if we look here, um, that's th that's one of those videos. So, so it's sort of just like, because there's no directions anywhere, this was like a, a realization for me, like two months after I've had the camera that, oh, it does auto stitch and put it somewhere and I don't have to use this renderer here. So it's a silly mistake, but uh, it's something that I think that they should definitely be more clear on that these are auto stitching to a certain location. 
Um, anyway, so the other cool thing about this software is, for videos anyway, if you go to settings, uh, let's see, where's it at? Oh no, there was editing. So under the editing tab, this is normally off, but under the editing tab, you can go to automatic angle compensation for 360 degree content. Automatically remove wobbles and instability during stitching so the vertical orientation remains the same. This should be clicked OK because what that does is instead of stitching, let's go back and find that video. This video, let's see, no, let's find. This video, if this stitched just like this was, it would be, it would be off. But because it was, I was, I had the, the camera tilted. But since I had that one little button checked, uh, this one, it's now the horizon is more or less straight. So it's actually a really handy feature, and it's because the the Gear 360 has a gyroscope built in. So that's a very nifty feature. Also in the settings. Um, hardware acceleration. I think I believe both of these were unclicked when I first opened this program, which is kind of funny. Like these should be, uh, these should be clicked. This should definitely be clicked. This this will speed up the stitching process for sure. So <laughs> that was the main thing I wanted to talk about with the Gear 360. That it does automatically stitch. You just have to bring it into this panel, and I I'll show you now that I can make sure these are good so I can you know select all of these drag them in and it's gonna automatically start stitching them uh, one by one it's gonna take a while I mean especially with video it's not it's it's basically it stitches pretty good like if it's a 10 minute file it'll probably take 10 minutes to to stitch it so that's pretty good considering all things uh, that's not bad and it does a decent job of stitching the main complaint I have is not actually with the stitching, but with the the um, with the blending. So, for instance, let me see if I can find a good example. If I open these up, I'm sure I can find. Well, you can look even here. If you look here, the stitch, the blend is fine. Well, maybe not. This looks like an extra leaf here. But down here, you know, up here, you know, I don't really notice the stitch. What I notice is the exposure difference. And and um, let me see if it's a little bit more obvious somewhere else. Let's see. Yeah, here's a here's a great example. You see that it, it the, the is the blue sky. You would never know that this was the same if it just blended a little bit more, or if these exposures were the same. But you can see the exposure is quite different here and here. And sometimes that's the case with color as well. Sometimes the color will be very different on one side than the other. And maybe actually that's the case here. Maybe it's not even the exposure because if you look over here, these looks to these look to be a little bit different color. These yeah, that could be exposure or color. Um, so that's my biggest complaint with the the quote unquote stitching is is just the way it blends. Yeah, that's definitely exposure here. See how it's brighter over here and darker over here. Um, yeah, so that's my biggest complaint with the the stitching. If you look at my channel, I also have a tutorial on how to stitch Gear 360 in AutoPano Video Pro. Using that, you have a lot more options and a lot more flexibility with what you can do with the footage. For instance, the biggest thing, in my opinion, is stabilization. If, you, if you're moving with the Gear 360, to be able to add stabilization in AVP is a very big benefit. And the other thing is, as we sort of were talking about, with AVP, you can blend these to make them look a lot more, a lot less seamless, or a lot more seamless. You can blend them to look seamless. <laughs> okay, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. watching. This is Alex from AlexPierceProductions.com. Subscribe, comment, let me know if there's anything you want to know about the Gear 360 Action Director, and I'll see you next time.